Good morning, everybody. It's Mara here, and I woke up uh, very early this morning. Uh, in case you, it is of any interest, I sometimes have very bad insomnia, and tonight was no exception. So I had an hour's sleep, and then finally 6.30 in the morning, I thought, no, I have to get up. I thought I would work on a story that I'm developing, but instead I wrote this poem, and my daughter Imani really liked it. So I thought that I would record it and share it with you guys. And it is a poem from the Corona King. It was all going rather well, we thought. This was going to be the year. Everything was lining up, things moving in first gear. Contracts signed, flights booked and paid, great opportunities around. When suddenly an enemy dropped in without a sound. He entered quickly, moving fast to get the damage done. And when he heard the coughs, he thought, oh, look, now this is fun. A tiny king, a crown on head, invisible to the eye. But his intention was so very clear. The humans, they must die. He sent his armies out at once. They understood their task. Move fast, spread wide, he told them. That is all I ask. Don't think it very challenging. They'll do most of the work. They'll cough, shake hands and splutter, he continued with a smirk. But most important, Listen well. Let's make fear our friend. Because even if in time we're gone, that will bring about the end. But humans are quick thinkers and knew they had to stop the spread. Some asked their people stay at home. We don't want our people dead. Many listened to advice, made memes that made us laugh, trying out new ways of life, keeping one eye on that graph. But others were more cavalier, trying herd immunity, the tiny king sent armies straight to their communities. It wasn't long before they knew it had been a big mistake when the graph showed a sudden rise, bodies falling and the ache, the ache of heartbreak, ache of loss, ache of stress and grief. As the tiny king continued, the very worst kind of thief, a thief of life, a thief of love, a thief of people's dreams, his work continued just as lives were being ripped at the seams. Schools were shut, parks closed down, the tiny king kept on, commanding fresh new soldiers, don't stop till they're all gone. This lot will be easy. The humans think they're smart. Their weakness is their sense of freedom. It is close to their heart. They all want to do as they please, and that is when we'll strike. The more we kill the more the fear, and that is what we like. If we destroy their services, more like us will come. We'll make them bow before us, turn their tiny hearts quite numb. Many humans are already tired, hungry, broke. The fun-loving king's eyes widened, an idea, so he spoke. I know, he said. Let's test them. What's this humanity about? This was an added bonus for him. Of that, there was no doubt. He thought that we were selfish. We wouldn't help each other out. He said we'd only help ourselves. And then he gave this shout. Let's get the weak, the vulnerable, those with nothing at all. The poor will try to rally round. The rich will watch them fall. Some will lie quite blatantly to hide incompetence. But war brings wealth to these. They know their words are just nonsense. And some people, and some rulers too, may try to do their bit. But if my war does end, then I think that will be it. Now they may talk of change, a chance to make things right. Save the planet, make things equal, out the dark comes light. But they'll soon forget their neighbours, the wails, the lonely cries. They'll complain when people ask for money, trying to get by. They'll soon forget the mothers, cooking stones as there's no food. Yeah, I bet that's what it'll be. Either way, humanity's screwed. These were the thoughts held by the king. I'm not sure I agree, but fingers crossed this soon will pass, so I guess we'll wait and see. Thank you.